Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. Well, we didn't go to sales this morning. I, there was like no sales. There, they had a few in a city that we don't like to go to on Fridays just because it's a little farther out. So we stayed in and chilled out this morning. Yeah. Friday. Uh, it's Friday, by the way. Yeah. So in case y'all didn't catch that, hopefully... I'm sure there's going to be some to go to tomorrow. The weather's supposed to be good, I think. Yeah. So, um, yep. we do have... I'm kind of excited about today. eBay wasn't awesome yesterday. It was kind of... I don't know. It was okay. We had we had a decent amount of sales. It's just, it just nothing uh, high dollar. We, we Yeah, and I think that was just luck of the draw. I think it was just a matter of, like, we didn't sell anything expensive. Like... Most days we'll have like big yeah. sale of the day. Yeah, like at least one or two things is 50 mm. or above. Right. Yeah. And yesterday we did not, but what I did like is that, and this is where we've been kind of trying to get to, is we've been wanting to get to where, where we're having, I don't know, I, I feel like I've been wanting to get to where we have like sales on eBay and then maybe four sales elsewhere yeah between macari etsy and poshmark having right. four or five other sales daily also yeah on those platforms combined yeah and i i ended up cross posting with list perfectly over to macari did like a hundred things yesterday and we're going to be sticking to our plan to cross post on wednesdays i didn't do it on wednesday this week because we we had something else to do but um, I'm pretty excited about this plan moving forward because I really think... We're going to see a real um, uptick in sales from that. I yeah, think we will. I think we will too. I, I really feel like we can get to a point where we're getting three, four sales a day on Macari. And that doesn't sound like a lot. But if you're selling, if we're selling, say, 60 bucks a day on Macari, you put that out over a month and you're looking at $1,800. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. a lot of money. Yeah. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. We do have, we did sell on three platforms yesterday. We did eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark. Yeah, I think we did what, four, 14 on eBay. Yep, we have um, two on Mercari and then uh, one on Poshmark. And Poshmark is the other one, like, I, I don't, like we don't really participate in Poshmark the way we should. However, we do get a few sales on there. Uh, I'm hoping doing all this cross posting, we'll get like maybe a few sales a week from there. Yeah. Because we're just not, we're not willing to be as active as we need to be to but, really. Promote but even an stuff. extra couple of sales a week would be nice. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. if we could sell ten things a month on Poshmark, I'd yeah. be fine with that. Yeah. So we're really start. It's funny because I can think back to a couple years ago. And I was I was actually talking about like um, we were talking about best offers on eBay yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how that we're kind of changing the way we think. Man, a couple of years ago, if you would have asked me about cross posting when eBay was rocking and rolling for us, you would have been like, why? I would have been like, why? I'm yeah. selling all I want to sell on eBay. But now that like things change, and then you have to like roll with the times. I, I think we've pretty much given up on Etsy. It's interesting. I saw a TikTok, I think, yesterday um, of this woman who's an artist, and she said, she, you know, she'll hear the question, why don't artists sell their wares on Etsy anymore? And she says, because Etsy just let in all this mass-produced stuff. So most of the artists are going to um, TikTok to sell their stuff. Uh, if you do, like, um, hashtag art talk. Hmm, that, never... that, that's what they're using to um, promote their stuff. So Etsy grew and then the... Etsy started out as a handmade, you know, just for artists and crafters and stuff. Mm -hmm. And now there's just, you know, like mass produced wholesale stuff coming in and it's just, it's lost the vibe it originally had. Well, it's kind of hard for something to keep a vibe like that when it grows. Yeah. You and know? plus their fees are just, whew, they're, well, they're that's not what... great. That's what that's the thing that I really like about Macari. Mm -hmm. Is it like if let's say let's say in June we do all we're talking about those cross posting and stuff. Let's just say that Macari we don't sell it like it goes bad and we don't sell a thing on the on Macari. You know how much we have to pay if we don't sell anything on Macari? Zero, nothing. Mm -hmm. 
So that's that's the, one of the really good things about Macari. Is you don't have to. I, man, I sound like I'm getting paid by them. I swear we're, I'm we're not. not. We're not. Never talked to those people or nothing. This just ties into Etsy because mm -hmm. when you when you list on there, you pay a listing fee, and and we just have not seen results. Now we haven't listed a lot on there, no. but those listing fees really started to add up. And um, I'm not I'm not ready to call it quits on that. I, yeah. I just I I, I, I do think maybe what I originally said like um our vintage type glassware and like the, the you know collectible mm -hmm. tchotchkes stuff like that might do well on there but um the majority of our stuff is not that so and also i don't think we anticipated macari doing as well as it as it has right, so far right so that that has a lot to do with it too but it's hard to it's hard to look at macari and etsy and then look at the sales we're getting on by listing pretty much the same items on both and then coming up with the conclusion that it's a good idea to to pay the fees on etsy to make less sales than we are in macari that doesn't make right. any sense yeah so but subject to change as as is everything else you never know are you ready to pull some orders i am ready all righty all right the first item is on cc10 it's a puma did i say it right i don't know i usually say it wrong i, I always i've always said Puma, but I'm sure that's wrong. We had this conversation a while back, and I forgot already. Puma, I don't even care. We sold a Puma Puma hat. At our age, it doesn't even matter. We just say it how we want, and then people just chalk it up to old age. <laughs> so that's fine. Yep, uh, that's on CC10. It's a women's gray and pink hat. Okay, I remember this hat. I'm surprised it's on CC10 though. It's a nice looking hat. Yeah, look, it's in a. Is that a sealed bag? It came in that. I mean, it was. Is it I sealed? No, it, no, it's not sealed. I okay, took it I out to take the pictures, and then I'm, I'm like, keep it in the bag. Okay, cool. What we get for that? Uh, Twenty four dollars. Nice. Five Charlie. We sold a Disney backpack. It's a one of those drawstring bags. Backpack. See, so it must be under here. It's white. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is it. Yeah, this is it, huh? The new with, new with tags? Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't put that in the title. For well, here, look at this. Make sure this is the right thing. I mean, I know it is, but I'm just wondering why I didn't put that in the title. It's got tags on it right there. Yeah. Cancel, we'll cancel it and relist it as new. And get more money for Yeah, it. right. We would never do that, by the way. Yeah, it is new with tags. I just dropped the ball and then put it in the title. Yeah, it did say condition new on the listing. Though. Yep. CC6, we have a Mickey Mouse Hallmark ornament. It's a magic sound ornament. CC6. Ornament. Mickey's Toy Machine. Yeah, I have it right here. So, listing this set of ornaments that we had bought taught me to always look for these sound machine ornaments. They're pretty much always worth money. Okay. Yeah. That cool. one went for 20 Okay, cool. Yeah, because a lot of times at garage sales, you can find stuff like this for a like dollar or something, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you, they do take batteries, so there may be a risk of corrosion. We got that from Suzanne, huh? Yeah, we bought a, quite a few from her. That's the same person, if y'all don't know who Suzanne is. We have a video from a, a while back. That was like um, November. November? Okay. And that's, if y'all watched us pull these Walmart pens over here, same sale that we got those from. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, some more safety glasses on four Charlie AY. AY. A is the one that doesn't mean anything. It does mean something. Wait, A does. <laughs> Hang on, let me think about it. Okay. A. Why is yellow? What do think AY is? What, with, what color Lonnie's begins? Lonnie's not going to put the picture up yet. What color begins with A? Aqua. Yeah. That's right. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Won't be able to do this too much longer. We only have three of these left. Candace, that this has actually been like a like how many? We, we, we've sold like forty dollars worth of these we or sell something. One every couple of days. Or, or every day it seems. Nine dollars for that. Okay. You know what? I think since we said somebody uh, had put in their comment that they're great for like uh, weed eating, uh -huh. maybe people are buying them for that because they saw they heard that comment. I don't mm -hmm. know. <laughs> All right, and then um, we have a Marvel card on four Bravo B87. Okay, I'm going to try and grab it while it's without bringing the thing back there. You said 87, right? Okay. 
Ah, got it. Looks like B87 is Gambit. Yeah, which our viewers let us know that we should know who that is because he's a Cajun from down the bayou. <laughs> Look, we just, we, I, Candace might have a shot at knowing something like that. <laughs> I know nothing about comics. I never, this just never was my thing. This is an exciting sale. Some more cello flatware. Three teaspoons, not the ice teaspoons, the shorter teaspoons. C5. Five Echo. Five Echo C5. Three of them. Here, this way? Other way. Other way, of course. It, the old lady just told y'all that some uh, flatware was exciting. <laughs> What's next? Some crochet, uh, like. I do have an afghan. Do you have a shawl look. or something? No, I'm, <laughs> I'm joking. Candace is not an old lady. I'm an old man, though. Five Echo C. I'll bring them to you. All right, y'all yeah. ready for the excitement? Wait, hang on. Make sure you're sitting down. This is gonna be something. Wow! <laughs> Some right. spoons. These are sold for 15 each, so 45 for three spoons. Yeah, they made a, a silver or something? What are you talking about? They're genuine stainless steel. Oh, okay. One, two. That is I'm joking around, but that is exciting. $45. 40, $45, y'all. Yeah. Man, that is nuts. Alright, five echo, Tori Lee, Monster High Doll. Can I go this way? Well, yeah, you can't for her. I can't. Oh, that's right. Her, she's got a big bucket. Yeah. <laughs> she's got a big bucket for her big megaphone. Look at this dude. He's been there for like three months. I know, but now he's in the way. Oh. All right. Yep. Yeah, she's the one with the megaphone, right, Kiss? Right. Yeah, that's right. She, she's the one with the phone finger, right, Kiss? Yeah, that's right. No, that's not right. She's mm. not megaphone. I know. I just mean. Twelve dollars. Okay. <laughs> um, we have the next two orders of two separate people, but two razors are fifty-two for eighteen dollars. Okay. R five two, got it. R thirty-two for eighteen dollars. R thirty-two. All right. We have a pair of sandals, Foxtrot four. I gotta be honest, I was a little skeptical if we were gonna be able to sell these shoes or not. I think some of them were probably not going to. We'll see. Um, like those forever ones, that's just some um, rent. Like there are no eBay set listings for forever shoes. Well, even even at the prices we're getting, cause like these are $15, right? Let's not kid ourselves. These are, these are not $100 shoes. Yeah. However, even at $15, at the margins we we have on these, we're making about ten bucks a pair on them. I mean, we only we paid less than three. And the other styles on the other side were selling for twenty. So okay, yeah. yeah. We actually have another pair going out today too. So yeah. All right, I forgot about these things. Um, they're both in five Charlie. It's Cryptozoic uh, bombshells mm -hmm. membership cards. Uh, five Charlie J twenty one and J twenty four. That's one of those things that when i listed it i found comps to support the the prices but man that market is so small those those cryptozoic cards yeah. for that stuff it's such a, a tiny market man it, it does exist though you can see a lot of these other cryptozoics i have in here and they've been listed probably about a year huh? oh no probably yeah probably close to that or maybe a couple years yeah, so which like one is it j21 and j24 okay these i don't know why i took them out like this i don't think they're even really in order much let's see okay i got j21 here oh i have them both so they are cool though these are like insert cards yeah and look they're numbered 343 out of 599 both out of 599 yeah so that's a daily planet card and then that's a joker's cabaret yeah it's kind of cool actually yeah ten dollars each for those yeah that's twenty dollar order yeah. actually it's was it ten dollars each for those 9.99 so they're under twenty dollars okay so i can ship those uh yep. stand ebay standard envelope Six Echo, 
why we saw it a uh, university tankard southwestern louisiana yeah and it is going to louisiana i imagine it's going to be a graduation gift for somebody get out carefully oh, it says vintage does it have a year on it i'm curious what year it is University of Southwestern Louisiana. Uh, it says 1900. So this is like oh, about 100. And, it's not vintage, it's antique. Yeah, it's about 124 years old. So. And no, we're not that dumb. I know that. I know that's when the university was started. So, if we just left it there, somebody would think we uh, were being serious. That's all for 18 dollars. Okay. Well, that that's look. That's a couple of things right there. Those cards and that thing. That's. They might have never sold. We just got lucky. Yep. Uh, another Charlie on Five Echo. That's the one with the megaphone, right, Candace? Yeah, Ronnie. Why are you talking like that? For some reason, you sound. I don't think I sound like that. <laughs> it's over twelve dollars. Okay. We sold a Kaiju MU7. Looks like a little red drag uh, dinosaur. MU7 is. There is no MU7. Oh, that was a uh, Bev. Beverly drawer. Yeah. There you go. I was trying to remember if we changed it. We got to get into Beverly Beverly's drawer. Ha 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 ha! All right, har har har. Okay, wh which one is it? It looks like a red dinosaur. It's it's, it's in parts. It's like a kit. Paragon. It's a model set. Play. I actually put it together for the picture. And it's a good oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, that's why. That's yeah. why I was surprised. Look. It's got this Japanese looking monster thing on there. Yeah. Brrr. This is him right here. Okay. It's all for $10. Mm, that's One cool. ear broken. Oh, it's broken even? Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> all right. And that is everything on eBay. Okay, that is the bench with just eBay, but we're going to pull what now? Item Mercari. Let me sort these. For some reason, this is all of our like soles, but even stuff that we've already shipped. But they always put newest first instead of um, last updated. So like we'll have shipped this item here and shipped this item way down here. We, we have a lot of stuff in process right now too. Yeah. We've got look, we've got nine orders in progress. Which means they either haven't been received by the buyer yet, or they haven't left. The buyer hasn't left feedback. Or they we haven't shipped them. Yeah. And there's only, you see the two at the top? That's yeah. the two that haven't shipped. And then like a waiting rating. They're all waiting rating. And then once they, once they rate us, then it says. Your buyer rated you, it's your turn to rate them. Or, it says something else there yeah. to let you know that like, and then once you rate, then the money gets dropped. Yeah, so once you rate them, your money gets dropped and um, you can see their rating. You can't see what they told right. what they left for you until you rate. Now, after, if they don't rate after three days, um, Mercari just goes in and does an automatic rate, positive rating for you and releases the money. We've had 37 completed orders now where like we got paid. And I think four, four out of 37, Mercari had to rate automatically yeah. after three days. The yeah. other 33, the people, most people tend to rate like same day they receive. And what, wasn't one of them a person that bought like two or three items and they only rated one? Yeah. So yeah. that tells you how high the ratings are on on this platform. Yeah. And you get, and, and if they don't rate you, then Makar gives you a five-star rating. Right. You get a positive. Yep. We saw Dracula or a C on there. Okay. And I got serious about Makar yesterday because, uh, it was just like a passing thing. I installed the app on my phone and logged in there for the first go. time. That means you're really serious so about I'm, it. I'm serious about you now, Macari. She okay. sold for 30. And then we sold a comic book. X43 is the location. Machine Man number two. Okay. Got it. Yes, yeah, this guy. I remember this guy. He's got like this. Look. Oh, he's he's a machine man. Well, no, he's got like a little scooter. No, but it's built in. Look, it goes through his ankles. Oh See my that? gosh, that is weird. To look. me, he can't walk. Yeah, and look at look at all the cops. Oh my god, 
What do we do? That's crazy, huh? I know. I've never heard but of this before. Look at the picture on the top left. It's not. Maybe he can take it off. Maybe he has accessories like James Bond that he can yeah, but install on. The, I, the part that tripped me out there was when I noticed that it went through his ankles. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was just riding like a scooter at first. Yeah. All right. And then over to Poshmark, we That sold for $9, yes. by the way. Took an offer on it. Over on Poshmark, we sold a pair of sandals. Um, B5. Oh, that's this side. They didn't even make an offer. They just paid. They just bought them. They paid what we were asking. Oh, man. What could go wrong here if I pull this out of here? Uh, yeah, I better not do that. That's going to cause an avalanche. I do not want to do that. I'll take a few of these off before I try that. Okay, I feel good about it now. That was going to be too much before. Okay. Cupids. Size 10. They're brown. Cupid, size 10. Okay. Yep. Got it. Sell for $20. All right. And, um, and if y'all, a lot of y'all probably already know, but Poshmark, they take. Our earnings are $16. Yeah. They take 20% on this sale. Um, but then we don't they also print the label they also give you the label to yeah, ship you with just like click on the label and print it out yeah so our net proceeds on this are 16 dollars yeah and we paid like three or a little less than three yeah. we paid what 150 mm -hmm. for 54 pairs of shoes yeah. so it's like 280 or something but like i ended that. up keeping a few pair yeah then... well that doesn't change our buy price though i know but we also had a few pair that were obviously used that we, that we pulled out so about three bucks a pair okay yeah all right so now that's everything the bench does look better with our non-ebay sales on there it fills it up a little yeah, bit it does. fills up the pocket a little bit more too get the stuff packed okay um I've gotten this much pack so far. I just got a few more to do. I did notice something weird whenever I was packing the cards. There's two cards. Um, eBay standard envelope and max weight three ounces, blah, blah, blah. Included coverage up to $50. What is that? But eBay standard envelope is only supposed to be 20. 20. So I wonder if that's a glitch right here or if they're cha they've changed the max or if they're going to change it or what i don't know because i did go ahead and look up i went to their this these are their official terms and conditions for ebay standard envelope and it still says uh maximum twenty dollars yeah so that doesn't match up with what's on the shipping page so uh, well you know what that might be well no I don't know what that is. No, even if you have m multiple items in the same one, it's still not supposed to come up to no, more than 20. I was 20. something really dumb, like, okay, it's over 20, but it's really worth 40, but that's Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, they say it's covered for up to that much. Right. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's actually covered up to 50. Usually, it, usually whenever something says up to, there's some kind of stipulations, and your case isn't really, doesn't apply to that, right? Yeah. But uh, who knows? So stay tuned. There might be some changes coming or that might just be some glitch or error yeah. for it to say that. The other reason I turned the camera back on is um, I'll let Candace say. All right. So this morning since, okay, I told y'all like the weather's nice, but there were like no garage sales this morning. So sometimes people don't post till the day of. So I just pulled up Marketplace just to see if there were any like really close since it was such late notice that we could just run over to nothing but i did find an interesting large collection of something that is for sale and i reached out to them and we are going to take a look this afternoon and it, it's good and it's exciting and can yeah. i hope it works out because i really want to share with y'all so. it's kind of scary yeah candace actually just got back she went i was while well, i was packing orders she went to the bank because, I mean, we're serious here. Like, if it is what we think it is. Yeah, we're going to look to make sure it really is what we what it's supposed to be. Because, you know, sometimes people have things and they say they're all this brand and you get there and it's not. 
or the condition is this and you get there and it's not right so we before we committed I, I you know I, I made an offer and I said contingent on us seeing the items um, so we're going this afternoon to look and um, hopefully it works out and we can show you guys when we get back yeah on the next video yeah because or if, if it doesn't happen we'll probably tell y'all in this video that it didn't happen yeah so um, we do have 6,000 cash on us now which uh, I feel comfortable saying that because this video won't come out till much later yeah <laughs> we don't normally for we normally have about $23 cash in our pocket though okay like, I actually had a hundred dollars okay cash. but you know what I'm saying yeah. right like we don't we don't <laughs> we normally don't walk around with wads of cash no we don't yeah. so uh, we we are serious as long as it is what we think it is very excited yeah, but, uh, we'll, we'll, we are gonna be ready to buy on the spot if it works out yeah so. yeah and it's a it's a bunch yeah it's a lot I wish I could say more. I guess I could, but I don't want to spoil that video if, if we do buy it. So. I got excited too. I found um, another vintage cabbage patch and overalls that look like the the purple ones I sold, but these were red, same shirt and everything. Now the doll had different hair. Um, she did show the um, the the signature on the Bahonkas, and it it is the 1984 signature. So, but I couldn't see the tag to see where it was made. So I messaged her and she got back to me and it's, it's just a, um, a made in China one, which they're worth maybe like 30, 40 bucks. And she it's was not worth, she was asking 60. Okay. So yeah, um, I was bummed. I was excited. I thought I was going to get another cause I didn't, I didn't know if those overalls were only made in Spain or if they made them at other factories. You just got super lucky and you didn't know it. Yeah. I you had, didn't know I, had, it. I didn't have that knowledge when I bought her. I didn't look at the back of her neck. You were crying and dying that buying that cabbage patch for twelve fifty. I was trying to get her down two dollars and fifty. <laughs> if I would have known the value, I would have snatched it up in a heartbeat. You of know? course, yeah. yeah. But now you know. Now I know what to look for. Yeah. I knew I, about the signature, but I didn't know they had other factories that they made stuff in. You know. If this, I'm really excited about this deal. Not only is it going to be potentially a big money maker and a lot of fun, but also it means that we'll get the day off tomorrow, sorta. Of. Yeah. Then we won't get. Happens, go... we're not sourcing tomorrow. Or Sunday. Yeah. We're, we'll Which just... is good. There's only one estate sale this weekend. So. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these packed up. All right, Candace and I are about to go. Um, in just a bit, we're gonna go meet up to go look at this stuff. I'm like. I'm 90 as long as it hadn't sold to somebody else and as long as what they're saying is what, what it is and it looks like it looks like it's all good mm -hmm. uh, I think there's a really good chance we're gonna spend five six thousand dollars in just a little while yeah um, we just listed a few jerseys in the meantime we, we've actually been like we've been focusing on this thing all day since I packed orders we've just yeah. been looking at trying to comp stuff out and preparing right. for it um, we did man I listed a pair of Victorian, not Victorian, like early 1900s children's lace up boots. We just did two jerseys. Yep. And um, we have something we wanted to show you that's kind of fun. I knew nothing about this until <laughs> like an hour ago. I did it about a week ago and I kind of forgotten that I got the email today confirming that yes, this was going to happen. So, um, one of, uh, it's not a local company, I thought it was, but they're kind of nationwide. Lamar? Lamar. Oh yeah. Advertising. They, you know, do, they have billboards. You know what's funny? Hmm. Do you remember um, when we when I was a poker dealer, uh, the grandson of the founder of Lamar, or the owner or whatever. I don't know if they have a single owner or not. Uh, originally they did. I'm sure. But but he used to come in and play poker all the time. So I, I know. What, so they did start out locally, probably. I think so. That's th that's probably why I thought they were local. Yeah. So when you sign up for this, it shows you all the locations all over the country. Okay, what is it? So um, I got this. The the rabbits vet posted on Facebook that this was happening. Lamar is doing a Love Your Pet Month, and so they're offering free billboard time for people's pets. So um, I signed Pippin up, <laughs> and he's going to be on a billboard um, pretty local to us for. There's a 15 minute window he's going to be up there. And this is his billboard. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> so, and that's going to be tomorrow. Well, actually, you're, it's going to be like in the past yeah, for you guys. Well, we're going to try to get out there and uh, 
Get it. <laughs> Get it on camera. <laughs> Can you just see that? Look at that. Say hi to Pippin. Submit, look. L.A. Marpet. Oh. Lamarlovespets.com. No, I was looking at this promo code. Yeah, that's the promo code to get it for free. Normally, for a 15 minute slot on this billboard, it costs you $45. Ah, uh, okay. Which is not bad, I don't think. You just have to make sure whoever it's for can see it at that time slot. <laughs> wow. Okay, Pippin, you're going to be famous, son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> famous in Walker, Louisiana. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're going to try and catch that. And maybe we'll take a picture of of him up there and we'll show you all that later i wonder if we brought him and said look pippin he wouldn't know he doesn't know what he looks like huh he has no idea and no. like it's like pippin it's like when we try and get pippin to look at the tv yeah. or a mirror or something. he thinks it, we're showing him food or something it just don't happen yeah. he already ends up looking at your finger <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> look he's like well i don't see nothing on your finger yeah but yeah we are um i would love to add a little more to this content of this video today but we really have got to uh we've got to focus on this buy yeah it's we're gonna go buy. get the truck prep like cleaned out with um maybe a few empty boxes they say they have everything boxed up but you never know we may end up they may have some more stuff we want to buy yeah that's true yeah, that's true so. so wish us luck and uh if we were lucky then you'll know about it in the next video yeah. so until then thanks a bunch for watching and we will see y'all again very soon bye y'all bye